Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over one of the most common things I see in any of the Facebook 3D printer groups I'm in. And that is, what's wrong with my first layer? Before we get started though, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We have recently hit 50 subscribers, which is great. For those of you who have not subbed yet, please leave now. What are you looking for a raise? Get out. Just kidding, but if you're interested in random 3D printer videos, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's jump right on into fixing the first layer of your print. All right, I made this really simple first layer calibration thing for you guys. It's on printables. I'll drop the link for that down in the description of the video. There's a bunch of different options on there, but the one that I made is basically just a really tiny first layer that you can you can multiply if you want to do the corners and stuff too. But this one is basically just focused on the main part of the print bed where most of your prints will be done, which is the center. Also in here, there's kind of a little chart thing that I made. If you click on this, it will enlarge it. And we can see some of the common issues that we encounter on our first layer. If you get these waves, you're too close to the bed. This is looking a little bit better. This is looking a little bit, you start to see these lines here. This is how we can tell that we're starting to get a little bit too far away from the bed with the nozzle. And then sometimes you get these huge gaps and that's how we know that we're really too far away from the nozzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust in 0 0.05 increments. It's gonna be a little bit different based on whatever printer you're using. I'm gonna to demonstrate today on the Ender 3 V2, but I also have a Creality K1. Some of the machines like the K1 and I think the Bamboo Labs machines, you have to actually adjust the Z offset in the slicer and not in the printer itself. On the Ender 3, we're gonna adjust it though inside of the printer. All right, I've got some filament loaded into the machine and we are ready to test. One thing to note is make sure that you have already done the bed leveling steps before this. If you need help with your bed leveling, I'm going to leave a link to my bed leveling video in the description. All right, let's open up Kira and I'm going to just show you a couple of settings real quick before we get started. Uh, one thing that we're going to want to make sure we have is the 0 0.02 millimeter layer height. This is pretty important because of the height of the STL that we're using is 0.2 millimeters. So this is why it's exactly one layer. All right, let's go ahead and drag in our first layer adjustment. Should look just like that. If you want to do the corners as well, you can just multiply this. Uh, do like four and then just move these. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to focus on the center of the build plate because that's where most of our builds are done. Let's go back over to the printer and watch this print. And I'm going to tweak the settings to kind of make it too close and then too far and then perfect. If you're doing the first layer adjustment on the Creality K1 or any of the printers that are similar to that, you can't do the adjustment on the printer itself. You have to do it inside of the slicer. So go inside of the Creality Print Slicer. Double click on your profile here. You're going to want to click the Advanced tab up at the top. And then if you go under the Experimental, you're going to see the G-Code Z Offset. That's what we want. All right, and then for the second part of this, I'm going to move it too far from the bed. Move it down to like 185. All right, and then for the last third, I'm going to adjust it to where I think is probably perfect for me. Is 1.95. If you tweak too much too close to the bed, then you risk digging the nozzle into the bed, which obviously isn't a good thing, especially if you have certain types of build plates, you can easily tear off the surface of the build plate. But just be really careful when you're moving the nozzle closer to the bed. I recommend doing it in 0 0.05 increments. Okay, and then here's how it turned out. So this is how it was laying on the bed. This is when we were way too close to the bed. You can see how it's rough and it's got those waves on it. And this is as I started to move it away from the bed. And then on this part, you can see there's huge gaps in the where the layers are not stuck together at all. This is when you're way too far away from the bed. And then when we start to get up to this top corner is when I was trying to adjust it accurately. Looks like we were a little bit close here, but then you can see there's not even any layer lines right here. So this is when we were perfect. But like I said, just make sure you adjust it in 0 0.05 increments. If you get these waves right here, you're too close. If you've got these like strings, you're too far. And then once you start to get perfect, you can see that you can barely even see the layer lines. 
And if I was to tug on this, I mean, I can pull as hard as I want and the layers won't separate at all. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. Like I said, be very careful when you're adjusting closer to the bed because you risk digging the nozzle into the bed. So do that very slowly. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. In the next video, we're going to talk about some firmware options for the Ender 3. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day, and we will see you in the next video.